because I was like, well, that's how I started off. So I've got to continue like, people this liked sort of me image of me. Yeah. yeah. Like, are people still going to like me if I don't show my heart on Instagram? Yeah. I've actually found that since not doing it as much, like, I have to continue to grow. Yeah. So people now are actually taking an interest in what, what I'm saying. Yeah, doing. exactly. And what you're professional at, yeah. rather than going, look at my life. Yeah, exactly. Um, and again, like, with the figures you're lifting, mm. um, and your, your strict training regime as yeah. well, you know, again, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a weightlifter, but I yeah. could look at your videos and go, yes, you can see your bum. Yeah. But I can also appreciate that you're showing form and strength and you're you're showing us everything that you do. It's not yeah. just like, look at my bum. It's, yeah. This is how I do a hip thrust. This mm. is how I do a deadlift. This is me lifting. Mm. And there will be people that will watch and go, look at my bum. Yeah. But well, then there will be people watching going, fucking hell, that's good form. Exactly. And you do. I do see that within comments. It's like, well, I can see the people that are only interested at for my bum, but then I can see the people who can actually appreciate the hard work yeah. that I'm putting in. You don't get that just by going to the gym once a week. Oh no, exactly. Do, yeah. You know, doing, doing a 20 kid of deadlift and going home. Yeah. And, you know, you have to work exactly. at what you've got mm. to, to continue that to grow. So I think you do it really well. Yeah. Um, I try to appeal to everyone as well. So a lot of my videos, they will be positioned from side to back on. So I'm like, do you know what? For the guys that do follow me, view my bum whatever yeah. you enjoyed that you <laughs> you enjoy that lads <laughs> um, but then for the people who are actually interested in how i train yeah. why i train like how to lift yeah. this is there as well so i try to appeal to both sort of audiences yeah and i, I think you cover it really well yeah um and again it's pointless you going well this is a de this is a bicep curl or this yeah. is me on the push bike warming mm -hmm. up because the people that actually want to see your form and your deadlifting that want that figure yeah Push bike's not going to help them. No, exactly. Bicep yeah. not help them. So they I'm need to see what you're doing. Bicep Go and follow the bicep girl. <laughs> um, so you are obviously you're trying to give everyone a little bit of what you yeah. what you can deliver, um, which again is I think you do it really well. No, yeah. I've obviously I did have a bit of a flick through as well to try and look at you, not just kind of what you're doing, but how how you've been putting it out yeah. as well mm -hmm. to. Because this is something I want to learn. Yeah. You know, I've probably got 1% of what you've got. Mm. So I'm trying to learn um, kind of how to help grow my channel to a little yeah. bit. Um, and I think I'm starting to do that. Yeah. Um, so it's really nice to actually look at kind of the science behind what's growing yeah. a little bit. Um, I think you have to find your niche yeah. within it. So you have to sort of think to yourself, what is it about me? that is going to appeal to all of these people or yeah. is going to appeal to the general public and then you have to sort of use that. Yeah. So I I know that I've grown like a considerable amount of muscle mass on my lower body. Yeah. So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to utilise that. That's going to be my niche. That's going to be my niche. Yeah. And that's, that's where I've got a lot of my audience from, male and female. Males for one reason, females for another. Yeah. You do get some males that are like, do you know what? Like you're actually pushing some weight. I want to do that. Like I'm not nowhere near as half as strong as you. Like yeah. you're doing something right. Teach me. Yeah. And I've had that from males, which is actually quite refreshing. Yeah. Because they're not just like, oh my god, I love your bum. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's a niche for short ginger people. I'm sure there is. <laughs> <laughs> no. So uh, again, this is something. I, I mean, my niche is kickboxing. Uh, yeah. Has been for thirty yeah. years. But the idea of the book. Yeah. That's nearly finished. Mm -hmm. And my YouTube uh, tutorials is our niche is being expert at kickboxing yeah. and anti-bullying so mm -hmm. we're kind of building that up so hopefully this year like 2020 that's kind of yeah. where it's going to go um the idea of podcasts is yeah. i love talking to people in in this kind of network mm -hmm. because you spend your life in the gym you have to balance your life and your family and your time your boyfriend yeah your online presence basically that's what we have to do and i, I, I so i struggle i do struggle it's fair, yeah. fair to say i do struggle and i want to be better at it so yeah the kind of Hearing that you struggle is it helps. Yeah. Because I sit there and go, fucking she's smashing it. How's like how do you cope? I think a lot of people think that as well. They're like, wow, she's really like smashing the game, what is she doing? She's achieved so much. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, like it comes across as that, but then you don't actually see you don't behind see the scenes. The three AM, <laughs> wide awake, can't sleep, you're replying to people. Yeah. Like, you know, feel like death, mm. but you've got to get up at six AM and still get going work. on, yeah. Yeah. Um, and like I say, you, you go for a lunch break, so in between classes, sometimes mm -hmm. I've got like a 10 minute window. Yeah. So obviously I'm not on my phone while I'm mm -hmm. teaching. You get your phone, you're just like, set up your messages. <sighs> well, six minutes. No! <laughs> yes, you can. Like, that is me. But most people, when they have a lunch break, they'll go and have a cup of tea. Yeah. And they'll watch a podcast or a film or yeah. a bit of YouTube or a tutorial. All I'm doing is replying to people. Yeah. Which I love doing, mm -hmm. 
but it does detract from yeah. kind of the rest of what you can and I, I exactly. think people don't see that yeah um and for me that's not like i follow like the podcast company that I signed up to Rob Moore like I listen to quite a lot of stuff that he deals with and you think when you look at it on the face of it you think wow that's amazing but when you dig a little bit deeper you actually realise how much stress there is involved yeah. in being that busy exactly. and I think people kind of dismiss that a little bit yeah um, so and for somebody who to say like a random a complete random that just messages you they just think of it that you're being rude and not like if you take like a day or two to reply they'll yeah. be like she's just being rude like well, you know, she thinks she is not replying to me I'm just like you don't actually see the volume yeah and I, I will reply to you just give me a day yeah just give me some time yeah yeah we, we get the same we get yeah. the same can I book him for PT three hours later did you see my message above yeah. like an hour later um, you haven't replied to me yet, and I'm like, I've been teaching for five hours, I've yeah. just finished, um, let me give an hour in. Give me a chance. Yeah, let me eat dinner, <laughs> yeah. then I'll reply. Let me be a human. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have a life too. <laughs> um, so talking about your business, obviously mm -hmm. you, you've grown your Instagram, you, you work at Next, and we've talked about your business a little bit. So you've just launched a new business yeah. as well, haven't you? So, so I've what just, is your business? I've just launched Built by Me. Built by Me, which I have seen. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is Built by Me? So it's an online coaching platform. So what it is, it just offers workout and nutrition plans to yeah. people, and then it offers that 24-7 support, access to our online members only Facebook group, sort of like a sense of community. Cool. And for me personally, built by me, so I was really happy with like when I came up with the name, um, but for me, it's more than just the workout and nutrition plans. It's that I will always be there, like... If you message me whenever, I will try my best to reply to you and give you as much advice as, advice as I can. Yeah. But it's also about building that healthy, sustainable lifestyle. It's not about, it's not diet. Um, I don't want people to come in and approach it as being like a diet and being restrictive and yeah. having to like cut loads of things out. And it's more so just trying to get fitness and healthy living implemented into your life yeah so an everyday life yeah rather than just this is how you train showed up yeah so a little bit more involved yeah and is it your own website yeah it's my own well oh. i'm have um got a contract with a company yeah and that's for two years at the moment depending on how well i do will be whether i stay with that company yes. okay but paid x amount of money for them to do the website yeah. and then the rest is kind of on yeah. me so do you manage the website do you have control in it? Well, yeah, I can do whatever I want yeah. with it, but they're also there as well, so I kind of have, like, marketing team. Wow. But they deal with other clients as well. Like, I'm yeah. not the only one that You're they one deal of, with. Yeah, yeah, that's their job to, mm -hmm. to client, client yeah. new people. So, like, I've got a blog on there as well, so wow. I'll write my blog um, in a Word document, send yeah. the Word document over to the marketing team, and just go, look, can you get this document posted on it, but with all of my colour scheme and photos? Yeah. And then do you know what else uh, three grand. Okay. Yeah. What was a one-off setup? A one-off setup. And that gives you what? Two years. Two years. Yeah. Okay. But they done a lot in the sense of they built the whole website. They built my logo, my brand. It. Well, yeah. I gave them a brief idea of the logo, and they was like, "Okay, this is what we've done." Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. And then they done. And then tweak. Yeah, and they done all my marketing and everything for me. Okay. So in that sense, I was kind of like. Yeah. You it. gave them the ideas, they put mm -hmm. that up. And, and they've you, done it all you for You fine tweaked it. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I've done the work. Yeah. In all fairness. Mm -hmm. um, so. Um, well, I'm actually mid writing a book as well. Oh, are you? Yeah. Smash it. What's your book about? Um, self confidence. So it's kind of like a self help book. Um, yeah. So, you know, have you ever seen, have you ever, I don't know, another example actually, but just sort of a book of how to channel your inner boss bitch. Boss, so is that, obviously, is that what it's called? yeah. So it's, it's, like it's, the, it's directed at females, obviously. I mean, if a guy wants to read it, a guy can be a bitch, by the yeah, way. Exactly. By the every two months, <laughs> <laughs> a guy can be a boss bitch, why yeah. not? But yeah, like it's actually directed at anyone, but yeah. well, predominantly females. Yeah. It has been a bit on the back burner at the moment, just well, you're fairly busy. other things. Fairly busy, I, yeah. I'm one of the people that try and like I try to do a million things at once. I'm like, you know what? I need to just actually finish one focus thing. on one before starting the next. I'm exactly the same. Because you just you do something and you're like, oh my god, I've got this other crazy idea. Let's do that as well. Yeah. You're like, actually, do you know what? I need to finish the first project. Yeah, yeah I've not finished my book yet, yeah. and now I'm doing a YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh no, I've got my own business. Yeah. Oh, I need to do Instagram. That's me. Yeah. All right. right now, that's like, so. Mm. It, honestly, um, people shout at me all the time. Mm. Just finish one idea. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I've got another idea. I mean, look, that's 
on the wall there. I've got one of them there. Yeah. I've got one upstairs as well. And it's just idea after it. Yeah. And I love my ideas, but it just does mean I know you don't finish it, but you don't always complete it. Yeah. Um, and I think the worst part is as well is when I make the mistake of telling people, it's then, oh, like, oh no, I kind of have to do it now. Yeah, but, yeah. And then people ask you, and although it kind of makes you more accountable, if you tell people it makes you more accountable, you're yeah. like, well, I've actually got to get it done now. Yeah, but then <laughs> I've had, yeah, I've had people be like, oh, how's the book going? Mm, the book's still there. It's there. Um, Not quite finished it yet. I've written something for every chapter. Yeah. Um, so, like, everything is there. It's just adding. It needs padding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'd like to read it mm. when it's done, or even half done, because, yeah. um, again, I'm learning myself. Mm. So, I might be able to take a bit to work from it. I might yeah. be able to give you a little bit of feedback mm. on it. Um, I might turn around and say, that's really cool. <laughs> um, I, I, I like the concept behind yeah. it as well. Um, because again, I think that's what a lot of people need and aspire to. So yeah. it's nice that you know you're being a forefront for girls, females, or men yeah. as well to go. Mm. Right, let's smash it. Because you're only young, aren't you? You're only twenty one. Yeah, I'm only twenty one. So still a baby. Mm. I'm still a baby. <laughs> but you still see all these people on Instagram who are like twenty, twenty one as well, and now like an example is I follow a girl called Grace Beverly. She's okay. twenty. She thinks she's twenty two or twenty three. And she just won the Entrepreneur of the Year award. Nice. Um, so she's got three businesses now. Um, and Goodbye. she's like turning over millions. Yeah. While she, all, all while she was at Oxford University. Wow. Getting her degree in music. Yeah. yeah. And again, people don't see that, do yeah. they? They're just turning around, oh, she's earning millions off YouTube. Yeah. It's like, Smashed it. 21. What yeah. lucky bitch. But she is very much like, she shows the grind as well. She'd be like, do yeah. you know what? I slept, I made up Grace Beverly. Grace Beverly. I'll have a little look. Um, but she shows the grind as well. She's like, oh, I was up till 4 a.m. this morning. Yeah. And I've woken up at 7. Yeah. I had three hours of sleep, yeah. but Ready still for the getting dive. it done. Like, <laughs> yeah. But she's like really big, like, sort of inspiration. Yeah. With her work ethic, especially. Yeah. I mean, one thing, like, because you said, that, like, we get, obviously, we teach a lot of kids, mm. and we say to them, like, what are you going to be? And then we go, I'm going to be an influencer. Oh, I'm going to be a YouTube. Now. And I'm like, okay, in what? Oh, I'm going to play Fortnite and people will watch me. Right, how many followers have you got? Four. Mm. Like, there are so many children that ha do not have a clue yeah. of A, kind of how big you need to be to actually earn money out of yeah. it. They just think, oh, I'm going to be an influencer on YouTube and I'll earn money. Yeah. A, it's not that easy. Yeah. And B, you've actually got to have something, right? You can't just yeah. waffle rubbish. I mean, don't no. get me wrong, there are a few people that waffle rubbish. And, and, millions, and yeah. millions, There are people that manage it. But generally, like, if you're going to smash it, you've got to have a niche. You've got to be good yeah. at something. And you've got to be... It's, it doesn't come overnight. I mean, I've kickboxed for like 30 years. Mm. And it's only now just starting to grow. Yeah. 30 years, mm. six days a week. Do you know what I mean? And it's still my passion. Yeah. But it's it's took time. No, People exactly. still go, oh, you were really lucky that you got your own gym. Fuck, it wasn't luck. Yeah. I didn't just turn up and it was there. I pay a lot of money each month for rent and it spent a long time building it. Yeah. People big don't hurdles. sort of acknowledge that. No, they just go, oh, it's what for you. Yeah. What do you mean it's what? No, my yes. dad didn't go, here's son, here's 50 grand, go and buy yourself a gym. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, don't worry about rent this month. I'll, I'll pay it for you. Yeah. Oh, you need to deposit for a house. Yeah, don't worry, I've got it. Like, I've paid for everything. Yeah. And I've worked half for it. Mm -hmm. And now it's only just got to that point, I think, where it, it's at that point. Mm. But it's taken a long, lovely time. Oh, yeah, I bet. Well, yeah. I just feel like a lot of people, especially young people, just assume that things just come to you now. Like, you don't actually have to put in the hard work to get to where you are. Yeah. Because they see all of these people on social media. Because it's massive now. Like, seven, six, seven-year-olds will have phones. And, like, and followers. And YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, there's this kid on YouTube and he all he does is he opens and tries out new games. Yeah. And he earns millions really? from doing that. And I don't know how old you think about that. Eight. Wow. Yeah. Eight or nine. Fair play to you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I think on this my generation in particular, like work ethic has plummeted completely. Yeah. I'm gonna sit at home and do nothing and it all come to me. Yeah. When it's not the case at all. You can get lucky, like I think with some of the things that I've done, I've got lucky in growing my following. Yeah. But I think you have to find something that sets you aside from everyone else. Definitely. So you just have to, you have to be able to engage with people and be able to relate to people, yeah. and in the hope that people will engage, engage back. back. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, I think you've definitely mastered that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's the business going? Because it's, it's, it's new, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Though, so. I think it's going really well. We've only, it's only been launched about two weeks now. 
Um, but I think it's going really well. I've got massive workload and I'm a perfectionist as well. Yeah. With everything I do, I'm a perfectionist. So I'll be like, I don't know, like there's like a full stop where there's not meant to be a full stop on my website. Yeah. This needs to change. People are going to think I don't have, like, I'm not very good with grammar. Yeah. Like, and I'm like that with everything. Really? So, um, it's quite hard in the sense that I'll put a lot of pressure on myself and I'll stress myself out to the point of like I can't physically focus anymore when I'm so stressed. Yeah. Um so it's quite detrimental to like my mental health in the sense that I feel stressed all the time. Yeah. But put that aside and I am completely loving it. Like it's what I want to go into full time. Yeah. And hopefully I will go into it. My aim for this year is to go into it full time. Yeah, so you wanna make that happen, basically. Yeah. But it's just putting in the hard work. Yeah, and you've got to put the hours in, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that you're running probably 70, hour, 70, 80 hour weeks at the moment. I mean, from about, I tried to like start working maybe like 7, 8, and for the past couple of nights I've been working until about 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah. Just like um, making sure like, and it's things that, it's not even doing things with my clients, it's making sure all of the back end system yeah. is being like it's going how I want it to go. It's yeah. adding, so like my website at the moment for meal plans, it gives people like a meal, but it doesn't include any branded products no. at, at the moment. It's just like, it will say yeah. like sweet potato with chicken and like steamed veg or something yeah. like that as an example. Yeah. But then for dessert, it might say like yogurt, but it, for somebody who's a vegan, they want like alpha yogurt. So yeah. I haven't got any of that on the system. So I've got like a list that I'm manually having to like go in and add all the macros. Yeah. yeah. And it's quite time consuming. Oh, yeah. But yeah. um I I love it. Um if I didn't love it it'd be really hard. Yeah. But because you enjoy it, yeah. It makes it much mm. easier. Oh exactly. And I think that's a key point as well. I think people need to know if you enjoy what you're doing, mm. it makes it so much easier yeah. than obviously if you don't enjoy what you're doing. Exactly. Um and I think that's where a lot of people probably get it wrong with in their life in respect to they'll do a job that they hate. Yeah. And they'll bitch and moan about it. It's like, well, get out of it. Get out of it yeah. and go and change it. Like, I'd rather be skint and happy than have money and really hate my job. And hate yeah. your job or life because let's say you spend most of your time at work mm -hmm. and then with your partner yeah. in reality. So if you That's enjoy it. what you're doing, um, like people, uh, they'll say wherever they live, oh, I hate where I live, I hate where I live, I hate where I live. We'll move. Yeah. Yes, it might not be as easy as, well, we're just going to move today, mm -hmm. but you build a plan up. Yeah. to make that happen exactly. same with owning a gym building your business so again if you're if you're getting up at six half six going to work and then you're finishing at sort of 2am mm. 3am yeah. you're doing like a 20 hour 21 hour day yeah i'm assuming six days a week mm. like, but people won't yeah. think about that so no, exactly. you know hopefully in a year's time when you are full-time on your business and you are smashing it and you are earning millions from it mm. people are like, oh you lucky bitch and you'll be like well hold on a minute see the like, 20 hour days 20 hour days would you up at 3 o'clock in the morning rewriting your coding for your website <laughs> no exactly. you were just sitting there going why am I not rich or yeah. why am I not famous or mm. why is it not working um, and that's what we have with a lot of the kids yeah. um, and we try and explain to them it's not easy yeah. you do have to craft exactly. most of the time yeah. to make it work um, and I'm that's why I enjoy what I do mm. but you have to graft for exactly. it and I do have stressful days and I do have the odd little meltdown where people have to go, come on, like yeah, you are still too. doing well, <laughs> well done, pat on the back, I yeah. need that little push along. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something I've been developing last year and really trying to improve on this year yeah. and trying to get my staff to do it as well. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like one of my members of staff had a little bit of a wobble this morning, so I just pulled them to one side and said, look, what's the problem? Go and have 10 minutes, chill yeah. out, go home if you want to, yeah. go and have the morning off, do you know what I mean? Because you'll feel better, what's the problem? Well, it isn't really that bad. You yeah. just feel like it's bad because you're tired mm. and, and you crack on with the day. Yeah. So, but it's a learning curve, isn't it? Yeah. Um, My boyfriend taught me if you can't change a situation, you can change your outlook on the situation. Brilliant. And I I'm trying to live by that now. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah. oh, you actually do talk some sense sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect sense, yeah. yeah. But because really there's some things that. you can't change. Exactly. Um, so you just can just change your outlook on it. Because yeah, you yeah. can't half a while, don't you? Mm, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I choose someone's drunk half a drink and I want it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and then we've done some pads as well, don't we? Yeah. Which we can stick on the video. If you're, if you're on YouTube, you can go to the, the link and yeah. look at it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I, I loved it. Really it's a bit of anger out. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. Like, mm. it, 
if I have like a weekend off or away, if I go to, like if I don't hit something for like two days, I get like, really twitchy. Yeah. And even the wife would be like, "You've not hit anyone for a couple of days." Like, no, I need to. <laughs> but it's great. Yeah. It's such a release. Um, and again, obviously, you're not a kickboxer. Yeah. But you enjoyed it. Yeah. No. Right? Yeah. Hundred percent. And again, we only we only did a little quick yeah, bit. Yeah. Really. Literally that minute. Yeah. Yeah. And even that it. in itself. Yeah. I was like, oh, I love this. Yeah. yeah. Let's just start punching people at the gym. Yeah. Do do a couple of thrust squats and. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I've got some quick fire questions about you. Yeah. Um, just to kind of help the listeners kind of understand a little bit about you. Car or bike? Bike. Bike. Speed yeah. Now. Good. Uh, I've got a car, but I'd love to try like, most. Yeah. I'm too clumsy. Yeah. I fall off and kill myself in minutes. Mm. Um, I like speed. I like my cars. I like drifting. Yeah. And even when I go on a friend's bike just quickly within five minutes I'm getting a bit too confident I'm like yeah take it away from me. So car, <laughs> roll off. cage, four wheels and airbags mm. um and obviously because I've got two daughters mm. it's just it's much safer. Yeah. So um, what's your strangest strangest eating habit? currently um I don't know. It used to be that I would literally like drink Cups of gravy. Uh, yeah. Okay. It used to be. I yeah. mean, I'm not saying I don't really do that anymore. Yeah. But um, I used to drink cups of gravy. Really? Yeah. I'd that literally is go in and just weird. have like a cup of gravy. Yeah. Love it. Secret to a good bun. Cups of gravy. <laughs> cups of gravy. Yeah. Not so much anymore. Then. Not so much. No. <laughs> What's your best memory? Best memory. Uh, probably when me and my family went to New York. Awesome. Yeah, that yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Really surreal moment for us as well, and where my aunt lives out there, Excellent. or like family friend on yeah. um it was nice to see her and the fam but yeah going to new york with the family because just mm. you're just with them yeah and it's Fines just off, yeah off. yeah and you're just in the moment yeah new york's insane as well yeah it's so, so yeah. surreal it's literally summer like movies winter. Uh, summer oh, lovely. it was boiling yeah really but, sticky in the middle as well like, yeah just it london times 10 literally yeah. 20 30 000 steps a day Sweating words when we got back home. <laughs> I've lost five kilos. <laughs> Literally. But yeah. Um, if you was an animal, what would you be? I would be a tiger. A tiger. They're nice. my favourite as well. Yeah. yeah. A rare white one? Yeah. Be a bit different, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I can see you as a tiger. Mm. Well, yeah. Uh, what's your favourite song or artist? What do you listen to when you're, when you're doing the grind? I love Frank Ocean. He doesn't do as much anymore. Yeah. Um, I've always loved him though. Used to love a bit of Drake. I'm not so much anymore. I've gone off Drake a little bit. Yeah, I've gone off him a bit. Yeah. Still kind of love him. Uh, I love Ed Sheeran as well. Yeah. Love Ed Sheeran. Fellow Ginge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say those. Yeah, no, I like Ed Sheeran. He's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, most embarrassing moment? Um, most of my embarrassing moments have been when I've been drunk. <laughs> um... Maybe on my 18th birthday, hired out of a club for my birthday. Yeah. Um, my cousin was a DJ, and I thought it would be funny to grab the mic from him yeah. and start screaming and shouting at everyone, telling them to get out. Oh, nice. Yeah. I was like, everyone needs to shut up and get out. This is my birthday. Proper. <laughs> Little princess drama. moment. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not like that at yeah. all in the slightest, so I don't know what come over me. I think I was just like, I'm 18 now, I'm an adult. Yeah. Yeah. Probably that, or... Star vodka kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, um, sober moment. I was in the gym, and I was on the Smith machines, set everything up to do something, grabbed the weight, don't know, must have had, just had some wrong foot positioning, and I flew back, legs over my head, everyone's <laughs> seen me, I'm on CCTV as well, and everyone's yeah. just like, are you okay? <laughs> I just laid on the floor, I was like, I'm fine, just leave me alone. Just, just don't talk to just, me, yeah. just let me die, I'm embarrassed right continue. now. Yeah, but that was like the middle of the gym and everyone saw me. Yeah. But yeah, like I don't really get embarrassed that much. No, you're fairly chill. Yeah. yeah. Which I think, again, with what you do, I think you need to be done. Oh, 100%. Like, you can't worry about mm -mm. the outside world, otherwise you yeah. wouldn't do anything, would you? Mm -hmm. um, what did you want to be? Like, when you, Did you want to do what you're doing now? Like when you were at school, mm -hmm. did you have a dream or... Um, so I, from probably about seven or eight, I wanted to be a journalist. Okay. Yeah, so if you ever seen Devil Wears Prada, I don't think you've yeah. seen... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, so, no? No, no. 
<laughs> so um, it's just a film about like a magazine editor, yeah. like magazine chief editor, um, and that really got me into wanting to be a journalist. And then as I got in secondary school, I wanted to be a sports journalist. So I already just always Started. stayed with that. Yeah. Um, wanted to work for Sky Sports actually. Um, applied for uni, had an unconditional for uni. Yeah. In Westminster in London, and it wasn't nice. until how old am I? Twenty one. So two or three years ago, I deferred my entry, and then just never went. Okay. And started, and then that was the year that I started going to the gym. Yeah. And, and then, then my goals changed. Yeah. yeah. And was it you went to the gym and just found your love, and then went boom? Yeah. And then it got to when I was meant to go, and I was like, I don't want my life to change right now. No, I'm happy. Yeah. And Goes then back to if you're happy, doesn't it? Yeah. And then I was like. I felt obliged to go to uni though. I was like, all literally all of my friends have gone to uni. Yeah. Um, so I was kind of left for the year at home whilst they were all off at uni. I was like, I need to find something to like occupy my time. Yeah. I'm just working at the moment. Like I haven't got, and then so I found the gym, done that, and then haven't really looked back. Like, and then it got to when I was meant to go, I was like, oh, I don't want to go. So yeah, I just yeah. completely retracted my offer. And I was like, I'm not going. Wow. Now they're That's all still in their last year of uni. Yeah. I'm like, I didn't go. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> but I get like I'm you know, I'm not a very academic. Mm. So obviously uni was not a choice for me. Yeah. Um but again, obviously it wasn't your path. No. It wasn't your destiny, so to speak. And I I really hope and like to think, you know, in another year or two time you've killed the balance and yeah. you will have left work and you will be completely smashing yeah. what you do. And who knows? You never might get back on you might get on Sky. Yeah, who knows? Just, just Imagine. Oh, I'd love that. That'd be cool, it? Yeah, always in the back of my mind, I am like, oh, like if I did do journalism, what would have happened? But I'd still be at uni right now. Yeah. So things would be so different. But I, I'm a massive believer in you, you are on the journey, you just yeah. want to take a different road. Oh, yeah. So, so I do believe you will get to where you want to get yeah. to, obviously, as long as you drive and strive for it. But yeah. You just might take some paths. You might go off a little bit, mm. but you'll end up coming back to where you need to be or where you're going to end up being. Yeah. If you just might take the long way around. Mm. So you could end up being a journalism. Yeah. Could do. Because yeah. in theory, you're starting to go that way anyway. Yeah, in into like media and stuff. Yeah, so yeah it's could, just yeah. a new form of media. Like the, 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 the day of picking up your newspaper from yeah. the local shop and that's it. Yeah. Like TV's dead now. All the kids watch exactly. YouTube. And if it happens, it happens. Exactly. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think you'll get there. I do think you'll get there. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously over the last year you've achieved loads, you've quadrupled your following, um, you've launched your own business yeah. like two weeks ago, mm-hmm. so 2020 is, is going to yeah. be nice and big for you. Um, and have you got any other passions? Mm, I have always wanted to sort of impact as many lives as I can, yeah. like help and inspire and motivate as many people as I can. I like to think that I'm quite like motivational. Um, in how I speak and I preach like self love, self confidence. Yeah. So I don't know if you'd really call like motivating people a passion, but I really strive mm-hmm. of like trying to give advice, and that's why like I started the book as well. Is that yeah. I want to be able to sort of put out this message to girls my age and younger than me. Yeah. That you can be happy as you are and as you can. Like you don't have to sort of like live up conform. to the standard. Yeah, conform to yeah. all of these like social media standards that have been like yeah. drilled into your mind since you've had it. So I think like yeah, that um yeah. Well you're definitely doing that. Yeah. Definitely doing that. I mean you're doing all right there. Mm. <laughs> uh, have you got any questions for me? Mm. It doesn't matter if you don't, just some people do. Just trying to think. Like, have you ever looked at our classes or have you ever looked at kind of what we're doing and thought that's good or bad? Or My question would more so be about so when you were, because one of my aims is to buy a gym. Yeah. I want my own gym, like, that's an end goal for me. Yeah. Um, so, it's sort of just be about that when you were looking. At like buying a gym, was this already a place, like, or did you have you completely? No. So, probably the biggest pain in my life, yeah, is owning the gym, and I know okay. that might sound really, really bizarre. Yeah. So many years, when I was sixteen, mm-hmm. um, I trained at Hastings Martial Arts, yeah, um, and that was the gym where I trained, mm-hmm. and we rented a hall in a gym. So we yeah. had a weights gym and I had a cardio room upstairs, mm-hmm. and we rented, or my instructor rented that. Yeah. Long story short, he went away, and I kind of took over, which is when my instruction slash business started yeah um, a new owner brought the gym kicked us out okay so we then moved to a school and rented a hall um, i then moved to zeus's gym in hastings mm-hmm. rented a hall 
um, we outgrew that. So yeah. we then went back to the school, rented a hall that was bigger, but we still didn't have a gym. Oh, okay. We had a hall. Yeah. Yet. And obviously the kit slowly grew, the customer base grew, the clients grew, we grew, we got bigger and bigger and bigger, to the point I could afford a full-time gym. Yeah. But I, so I went to the council, I found a business, uh, a hall, a unit that mm -hmm. I could turn into a gym. They said I could have planning permission. We moved in, six months later they refused me planning, well, they shut my planning down. Right. So they gave me th um, three weeks to move out, or they're shutting the doors. Yeah. So guess what? Went back to the fucking school again. Yeah. So I've all this kit. I've spent 20, 25 grand on a gym mm. that basically I set fire to because I had to move out yeah. and all the wages, all the woods, all the flooring gone, yeah. underfloor heating gone, office gone. So I might as well just set fire to 25 grand. Mm. Went back to the gym, mm. the hall. Mm. After my life crumbled. Yeah. Like I built my dream. Yeah. Imagine getting, imagine getting like your dream car, like Lamborghini Ventador, mm. driving out the showroom and writing it off. Yeah. That's what it felt like. Like that. Yeah. Like shattered. Yeah. I wanted to give up. Mm. But we didn't. We continued. So we were there for another two years. Um, and then this came up where I am now. So we rented a 900 square foot little room at the back of Trojan Gym. So yeah. we're still here now. Mm -hmm. um, and then we were there a year. And then the landlord went, Do you want next door? Next door, we've moved out. I'm like, Oh, mm. I don't know if I can afford it. Yeah. Oh, do I need that much size? Yeah. Fuck it, we go. Mm -hmm. So we did. We moved next door. And then six months later, the next unit next door come available yeah. and same again and I was like oh, I don't know if I can afford it it doubled my rent yeah but I took the, the you know I took the chance to go yeah go on then mm -hmm. so we took it on and now we've got a thousand square foot reception mm -hmm. and a two thousand square foot gym mm -hmm. it's still not mine still yeah. rented yeah but but it is mine in respect to I'm here all the time yeah and it is a full-time gym so this is my first full-time gym that's been we've been here five years now yeah and I love it mm -hmm. but it's still not mine yeah. It's like renting a house. Like, yeah. It's yours, you're staying there, but you've still got a landlord. Yeah. I want, my dream is to drive up a driveway and have Hastings Skitbox Academy. My own doors, my own walls. Yeah. The dream, two floors, a place where people can come and do fight camp weekends, mm -hmm. have like a little place for them to sleep, like three or four bedrooms yeah. so people can stay for the weekend. We can do like summer camps. Mm -hmm. I'll have full PT, full massage. It, you know what I mean? Like Amazing. a suite, but just yeah. for martial arts. I'd like a few PTs in doing what they do. Yeah. Not a huge area. Yeah, I'd like yeah. a little dance area. I'd like a pole fit area. Mm. Mainly because I've got a friend who does pole dancing and I want to help her out. Yeah. And her core strength is insane. Yeah. People would be like, yeah, you just want pole dancers in your gym. <laughs> Actually, no, because a lot of people see that at CD. Yeah. It's not, because a good pole dancer is insanely strong and fit. 100%. Like, mental. Yeah. The fact that they're just in underwear mm. is what it is. But that's that's the dream. Yeah. But... So people will say to me, oh, you're so lucky you've got a gym. I'm not lucky. I've lost my gym four or five times. Yeah. I've had to rebuild exactly. four or five times. And it's still not mine. It's still yeah. rented. And I suppose when you were at that really low point of, oh, my God, I've actually lost it, you probably didn't even see the, like a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, no, there was no light. Here now, and then you come here now, and then you're doing, like, you're absolutely smashing it because you've got, like, however many people yeah. here. And it's like that in comparison to where you were is an amazing achievement in itself. And then you've still got ambitions and dreams that you're like aiming to reach. And I feel like if you've always got a dream, you're always going to have that ambition. If you can yes. dream it, like you can achieve it kind of thing. Yeah, you, you will get there. Yeah. It just might take a long time. Yeah. Right? But yeah. Um, and people say, you're so lucky. And I'm like, yeah. no, I've worked really hard for it. I'm not mm -hmm. lucky at all. Yeah, because I don't have a clue. Because I've had a lot of bad luck, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. Council. Landlord kicking me out twice, yeah. that kind of thing. Um, and this isn't the final step. Yeah. Oh, I've got a big dream. Yeah. So people go, oh, you're lucky. I go, no, this is, this is a, this is just... I wouldn't say a stepping stone because it's a very big stepping yeah. stone. But I have a bigger dream. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I will get there. It's just... just takes time. Fighting yeah. the council. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, no, that I rate that so much that you've got like such a bigger dream than what you're already at now. Because this would be like the end goal for a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, without being big headed, and this is when I have to remember what I've got. Mm. Like, my reception is bigger than most people's gyms. It's yeah. a thousand square foot, and yeah. it's for sofas and a desk. Exactly. But p families can come in, have hot chocolate, have free Wi Fi. Yeah. They can sit and wait for their kids while they're training. Mm. They don't have to sit in the car. They don't have to drive home and come back. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's a nice place to be. Exactly. We have people turn up two hours early for training. I'm not. What are you doing? And then <laughs> I'd, I'd rather sit in here than sit at home. Mm. 
which is really nice. Yeah, I was going to say, it's kind of nice. It's beautiful, but it's a lot of money to go, here's a big area for you to sit down and relax. Yeah. But I like that, so mm. I don't care. It's a sense of community, isn't it? Yeah, and that's one thing I think that we do really well. Yeah. But that's what I want to be able to pick up and have my own full facility where yeah. I can then help others come in. Yeah. More. You know, I want my own cafe. Mm. That's what I want. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, just, I just want a cafe. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but I just, well, I know why, because... People will enjoy it more, they want to stay longer, they feel like we'll yeah. be here. I won't have to shoot home to get lunch. Like now, I've got probably an hour left before I've got to come back. Oh. But I'm going to go home, have a cup of tea, eat and come back. Yeah. Whereas if I had a full-time calf, I could go, yeah. make me a tuna panini. Yeah. I'll put my feet up and not waste the fuel driving home. Yeah, back. exactly. Um, good question. Mm. So there, yeah, I still have ambitions and dreams, yeah. even though we're, we're doing all right. Yeah. Um, I'm really, really happy. Right, yeah. Is there anything you want to say... So, just plug your business very quickly. Okay, so Instagram, we are booty by underscore L. Um, business is built by me dot fitness. Um, if you are looking to sort of like transform your body in any way, shape or form, whether that be lose fat, build muscle, improve overall health, well-being, then built by me dot fitness is the one. Perfect, follow that. Yeah. Um, so again, it will be in the show notes, it will be on the links below. If you're not sure, just have a quick scroll down, click the button and I'm sure it will go straight mm -hmm. over. And if you do um, message this beautiful young lady, I'm sure she will reply as soon as she can. I do reply to everyone. You do. Yeah. Wait, wait till you get to 500,000. <laughs> yeah, it might be like five day reply. <laughs> At the moment, we're on one day reply. I mean, how does The Rock do it? I mean, he's got like 10 million or whatever it is. I'm sure he's got, Joe Rogan. I'm sure he's got like a Staff. team. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Exactly. But uh, you're not going to reply to 5 million people. Mm. It, it's not exactly. going to happen. Yeah. By the way, I love him, by the way. Like, I love him. Yeah, if I could get him on here, that'd be, I'd love to pad him. Imagine. I'd love to get him on a pad. Yeah. Joe Rogan or David Goggins or... Oh, I Rock. love David Goggins. He's amazing, isn't mm. it? <laughs> Just be hot. Yeah, I love <laughs> I him. I met him uh, last year. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I got a phone with him. Yeah, yeah. Really mental. Really cool. Yeah. Really mental. Full on. But yeah. Love what he's done. What an insane human being. I know. I he literally told my boyfriend about him yesterday. That's so weird. Yeah. I was like, yeah. have you heard of David? You've heard his work? No, I haven't Good actually. Yeah, really. I read his work, yeah. Mm. But he was one of the influencers or Instagram people that I kind of started to follow. That, yeah. Um, he's probably a bit too much at times for yeah. me. But what he does do is help pick me up. Yeah. And that's what I like. Mm. I'm like, fuck, yeah, you're right. Fuck, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it just gives you that little pick up yeah. that you need. Yeah, oh, 100%. Um, but then look at his followers. Look at the machine he was. Look at, like, you know, yeah. what what an outstanding guy. So, exactly. fair play to him. Mm. So, we all, we all look up, I think. Yeah. I don't know who he looks up to. Probably God. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, if I could get that one, that'd be yeah. amazing. Um, right, I've had an amazing time. No, it's been um, nice to just chill and talk. And yeah, uh, to be honest, I, I'm really thankful. I know you're busy. Yeah. So to take a few hours out of your mm. day to come and say hello, sit down and do this podcast. That's been a pleasure. Talk about your life. Yeah. Hopefully, we're going to help grow your business a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and like for everyone, massive thank you. If yeah. you want to follow Ellen, go and find her links. You know where I am. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, you well, you will find her quickly because she's the only one there. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, check her out. She's pretty good. Yeah. Um, she's amazing at what she does. Um, she's particularly strong. And I think she's got really good form for what I see. Mm -hmm. So go and check her out. Uh, it's brilliant. Uh, amazing. Thank you so much once okay, again. Thanks for having um, me. Remember, guys, it's not just a sport. It's a way of life. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. 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 Yeah.